Welcome to Tian KL uh, Chemistry Channel. Um, for this question, uh, first you need to construct the equation uh, for these uh, elements. Um, calcium, you get this equation. Potassium, you get this equation. Rubidium, you get this. Strontium, you get this. Uh, we know that group two elements will form uh, because it's one to one mole ratio. Therefore, uh, we know that by comparison, group two elements uh, will form more hydrogen than group one. But however, we still need to calculate uh, the moles and compare. So for calcium, um, after you calculate, you should get 0 0.125, which means hydrogen is 0 0.125. Okay, potassium, uh, you get uh, 0 0.128. Uh, because the hydrogen mole is halved, so therefore you just get 0 0.0639. Okay, you do the same calculation for rubidium, you get this, which is a smaller mole. Uh, hydrogen is uh, halved, so you get this. Strontium, uh, after you calculate, you should get this. Okay, and hydrogen, same mole. Okay, so from here, we know that uh, calcium is the one that produces uh, a larger mole. And of course, hydrogen also larger because it's one to one ratio here. Okay. Therefore, we know that the most of hydrogens here is uh, larger or largest. So, therefore, the volume of gas that produced by this reaction is also largest. Okay. So, answer A. Okay. Because the mole of hydrogens form is the largest compared to others. Uh, again, if you want to compare the group 1 and group 2, if they are in the same period, or, ah, yeah. so therefore, we better choose the group 2 elements because it's always able to form one more of hydrogen gas okay, when it's react with H2O. Okay, that's all. Thank you.